In this video, we're going to go over how to do a single item listing with Hydra Lister. If you prefer to do more editing on the front end and before the items are listed, use the single item listing option. Also, this option is helpful if you're listing an item where the supplier has a variation because you will be able to select the variation from a drop down list instead of having to guess at what it is. That variation will be passed along the SKU grid so that the correct variation is being tracked and repriced for your listing. So let's get started. What you want to do is click on the single item tab. Okay, so I'll run through another item really quickly. Um, this one has a variation uh, for sure, so I will demonstrate how to list that. Um, basically, paste in your URL. So here's the item. Um, you can see that there's different variations, and every supplier does them differently. Um, so Gray King, gray, gray Queen, Sand King, and Sand Queen for the colors and sizes of this uh, comforter set. So paste in the URL, select my selling platform, add new item. Okay, once that's loaded, you'll notice that all this information is filled in. And as you can see with Overstock, the dimensions and sizes don't usually carry over. Um, everything else is pretty much the same for me. I'm gonna click switch to editor. All right. So you see, um, when you do this, uh, in, in certain suppliers, because they, the, the photos don't switch when you select a variation, like, um, one, you know, once the listing is up, all of the images pop up. So you can see there's two different color options here. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. Um, first thing I would do with overstock items is get rid of this item number here and then fix a few spacing issues. Okay, so that looks good now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create my title. And as you can see, there's, there's different information here for queen. They've got dimensions and sizes for that and also king. So I'm going to take out the king information. I'm going to go ahead and do the listing for the queen. I'm going to leave that here. Okay, so I'm going to take this out. I'm going to do queen beige which one do I want to do do the gray one gray gray since some people spell it differently um, comforter set take out that take out the dash here Benny. Benny. Or the skirt, sham, sheet. I'm gonna take out this. Okay, so there's my 80 character title. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste over this title. That's done. The next thing I'm going to do is, since I'm choosing to list the gray item, I'm going to get rid of the images for the beige. All right, so all you have to do is click switch to editor, or well, show source actually. All right, now within that, you're going to scroll down and you'll start to see right about here. I've got, and this is very depending on what template you're using. But uh, you'll notice, you'll see some images here, and they're going to be named app.hydralister.com images, and it's going to be the title of the item, and it's going to have a number here if there's more than one image. 
All right, the first one that has main image by it, that is, um, that's the, the big image that pops up, the first one that's displayed. And that's number 16, which does correspond to the gray that I'm using. So I'm going to leave that there. So there it is again. That's going to be these down here. This says thumb pick. These are thumbnail images. So basically, whenever someone puts their mouse on one of the thumbnails, it changes the main image that's here. Okay, so I want to keep number 16. Um, 17 can go. I'm going to change that to 18 as well. And then 19 can go back to number 16. So now when I hit show WYSIWYG, which is what you see is what you get, basically that's a visual editor. You'll notice that uh, the only images that I have here are for the gray item. Okay, so I've gotten rid of the beige ones. Still kept the four images in my listing, but I've gotten rid of the beige ones. I'm also going to add um, you know, color in here into my description, my feature bullets color. Okay, and let's see, since this item has a variation, you want to definitely select it from the drop down. So I've got gray queen, which is the one that I'm listing, and you'll notice that my price changed. Everything else is done. I'm going to uncheck the images for the items that I don't want to list according to the variation. Okay, so I'm leaving all the gray ones up, but I'm unchecking the beige or sand color. Okay, and you can rename your images if you want to. I'm not really going to go through that. And that's it. I'm done. List item. And that's it. Now you can see that my item has been listed. I have an eBay item number right here and that it will be exported to SKU Grid within 15 minutes. And once it's exported to SKU Grid, it's automatically going to have the correct variation assigned. So I know that the right quantity and price are being tracked within SKU Grid.